take one to give you my take on the chicken salad sandwich. It's a little lighter maybe than other recipes, and it's got a great crunch and some extra veggies, as well as a different kind of bread to eat it on. Let's see the ingredients. Here are the ingredients. Pre-cooked chicken, or you can cook your own. We find that the hand-pulled rotisserie chicken from Costco tastes very good. One quarter cup of mayonnaise. Deuce for one lemon. Teaspoon of black pepper, or to taste. Don't forget the most important ingredient, celery. I'm using five stalks, because we like celery. Half of a cucumber sliced. One tomato sliced. Oh, you'll excuse the music in the background. Children are practicing their piano. Got a lesson today. So the first thing we're going to do is cut up our chicken to bite-sized pieces. We're going to put it into a bowl. You'll notice I'm using a blue board. The blue board is for my non-raw stuff. Usually vegetables. Cooked meat. I think cooked meat is fine. I like to cut mine up rather small. You can see I did horizontal, vertical, and two diagonals. That's pretty small for us. That'll be good. Take the chicken, put a large bowl. Next, we're going to cut our celery. But before we cut it, we need to take out the veins. You can't stand when the veins of celery get between your teeth. So make sure you rip out all those veins as best you can. Take the top, take the bottom, and you peel back, veins will come out. After I devein my celery, then we're going to wash it. Because celery is one of those that likes to hold sand. There you go. That one got deveined. Let's devein the others. I like to have smaller celery, so I'm going to cut down the middle first, each one. And yes, it's okay to use the same knife. All the chicken wants to get in there as much as you can anyway. Just helps get in. A little loud. There we go. Now we just do nice slices. Oh, about a quarter inch long, a quarter inch wide. That'll do. By the way, this is a recipe that's great when you just want something fast at night. As long as your chicken's pre cooked. Okay, you take all the celery. Right inside. I'm gonna add my pepper at this point. About a quarter teaspoon. Add the mayonnaise. About a quarter cup. I think a quarter cup sounds a little small, but trust me, it's gonna be plenty. If you think quarter cups too much, you can even add less to keep yourself a lighter meal. Juice of one lemon. I tried the rolling 
and then the poking and the squeezing that you see in YouTube. Has it worked for me? So we're just gonna go the old fashioned way. Cut it open. Still smells good. Uh, these are fresh from my my mom's tree. So we have it good. I'm using my hand to catch all the seeds. Let the juice flow through. Catch the seeds in the hand and the pulp. Stir it all together. And that's it. Now you made chicken salad. You can put it in any pita bread you want, any kind of bread you like. A roll. You like pita bread for it. Five stalks of celery, a pound of chicken. Coral got mayonnaise, a little pepper, a little lemon juice. Put in the refrigerator. We're gonna put in the refrigerator so I can eat it right now. Well, ah, so I do with my tomato. I do with my cucumber. Cut them up, slice them up, so you can put it on your sandwich. But first, my wife likes peeled tomatoes. So I always peel the tomatoes. I didn't used to. I grew up, my mom didn't peel tomatoes. Just slice up, we ate the tomato, peel them up. Put it on your hand. You give her a tomato with the peel on it. She'll eat it, but she won't eat the peel. Amazing. Oh, she can do that. Same with grapes. She'll eat the grape, but not the peel. Cucumber on the other hand. I usually don't feel that. But you could. I usually peel straight into my trash can, but today, it's felt like peeling over the board. There we go, a nice peeled tomato. My personal preference for tomatoes is to slice it in half first, and then do slices. So I like half slices. Not the usual full slices that you see. But half slices. Cut off the top. So usually I go from the back to the front on the top, because I'm going to cut the top off and not use it, because I am going to use the bottom. So nice, wonderful half slices of tomato. There it is. Put those on a plate so you can put it on the sandwich. We're at home. Reasons they just not come out today. The other half will be for the other part of the cucumber. Truly, my family only needs half a cucumber. So I'm going to cut up half of it. A sample one to make sure it's good. Mighty good. The other half my son will feed you his fish, his plecos. So I'm only gonna need half today. Oh, that was a little thick. Okay. I'll save the rest for my son to use. Oh, well, maybe a couple more. I like cucumber. Put that on my tomato plate. The cucumber adds another freshness in Christmas as well as a tomato. Another flavor of Christmas and taste. There we go. Cucumber tomato plate to add with the chicken salad sandwich. Oh, she's falling out. Mm. Mm.
It made it like the cold chicken flavor with the mayonnaise is able to cover up the celery to where you cannot taste it. That's the face you want, Camelia? You recording? <clears throat> I'm recording now, yes. <laughs> Even more mayonnaise. But I much rather prefer a donut. Happy National Donut Day!